Coronavirus. There are so many questions. How is it spread? How do we stop it? And most importantly, who's to blame? Well, I've been watching Fox News for 48 hours straight, and I think I'm ready to fox blame it. Okay, first off, the World Health Organization, or as I like to call the it, the World Hell Organization, tag teams with the Communist Democrat Republic of China, whose president, by the way, has the same barber as George Soros. Coincidence? Yeah, if you're Chuck Schumer, maybe. But anyway, back to Dr. Fauci. Do you know where this guy went to medical school? I'll give you a hint. Burisma. That's right, Hillary Clinton. Or as I like to call her, hydroxychloroquillary Clinton. That's part one. Now part three. 5G. COVID-19? More like COVID-50. This is a pandemic, not a pot-demic. Washington legalizes weed and then they're the first state hit three months before 420? Because here's my question. Jill Biden's hedge fund can raise three trillion from France? And meanwhile, more people in this country die from guinea pig attacks? No. 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 Hollywood radical left-wing statistics. What are you doing tonight? Watching Netflix. Who has a deal with Netflix? Barack Obama. Who was Barack Barack Obama's first wife. Tell you who it wasn't. Steve Steve Mnuchin. Mnuchin. Three gallon jugs of expired bat milk. Fluoridated hand sanitizer. So what does the G in 5G stand for? Gluten. What's everyone doing? Baking bread. Democrats want to vote by Quibi? Uh-uh, no, not in my country. Oh, I have a question. Exactly how many Cuomos are there? That we know of. Folks, it's time to open this economy up. Mr. Pillow was correct. Every patriotic American should call their senator and say, please, let me die. Illuminati credit card. Mark Zuckerberg's college landlord. Oh, and the Charmin bear? The one who wears underwear? Bears don't wear underwear. Okay, well, I think that um, pretty much sums everything up. I think we now know who's to blame for coronavirus. Bye, everybody. Oh, Joe Biden's a zombie. So we're about a month into self-quarantining now. And while some people will have to fight the virus itself, there's another hidden enemy. Our emotions. People who have died from coronavirus, just part of the anxiety. The worst of the coronavirus is yet to come. A lot of folks are really anxious about this. Cable news is doing a great job at scaring the shit out of me. So I decided to talk with an expert in emotions, Dr. Steve Taylor. He's a professor of psychiatry and he's also the author of the book, The Psychology of Pandemics. Dr. Taylor, thanks for talking to us. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How about you? Hanging in there. So obviously a lot of people are very concerned about their physical health during this time and trying to stay healthy and not get sick. How important is maintaining good mental health during this time? It's hugely important because a lot of the stresses about COVID-19 don't have to do so much about your physical health. They have to do with the impact of not being able to go out to work, the impact of being self-isolated. So managing those stresses is hugely uh, important. How afraid should we be? Like on a scale of one to 10 jars of urine that I'm collecting, just in case they cut off the water. That depends on your individual situation. Some people have realistic concerns, particularly frail, um, medically frail seniors, but we don't need to freak out. So you'd say maybe scale back to four jars of urine? How big a jar are we talking about though? You know, like mason size. Oh no, probably just one jar of that. For the whole family. No, each, each. Ah, You're not drinking each other's urine, are you? That's gross. All right, you don't have to get judgy. What are some tricks for handling stress and anxiety during this outbreak? You know, there's no one size fits all. Everyone's different and it's important to use whatever coping strategies that you've used before. Setting a structure for yourself. You've got a routine for your children, um, things like that. Whatever stress management method worked for you, it could be physical exercise or yoga. Some people have been using this as an opportunity to try things they've never tried before, like meditation. So there are all kinds of things to try. So for meditation, how many Benadryl should I be slipping into my child's breakfast so I can accomplish this? I would wait till he goes down for a nap. That's probably better. You're saying don't give him Benadryl? Yeah. He'll be fine. Good job. He's fine. How well do you think Americans are equipped psychologically to to deal with this kind of pandemic? Well, the good news is people tend to be really resilient to stress. Most people are. 
but they are going to look to their leaders um, for advice. And leaders need to be really careful about the sort of messages they send out. People's anxieties about infection depends on whether they see their leaders as uh, responsible and trustworthy and able to do the job. Sorry, you said um, you said our leaders. It, it comes down to our leadership. In part. <sighs> We're f- God damn it! Thank you, doctor. I uh, I was pretty panicked when we started this call, and now I'm I'm even more panicked. So thank you for your expertise. Welcome. Stay healthy. You too. So there you have it. As long as we practice good stress management and have responsible leadership, Americans are going to be emotionally okay. What a lot of people don't know, and um, this is really embarrassing, is that The Daily Show is actually related to Fox News. Yeah. What we found out is that Janine Pirro is actually Desi Lydic's aunt, twice removed through her grandfather on her mother's sister's side. And as any good niece would do, she checked in with Aunt Janine recently to see how she's handling quarantine, and I don't think she's doing great. Hey, Aunt Janine. Just want to check in on you and see how you're doing. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Yeah, yeah, of course. How, how are you holding up with all this COVID stuff? COVID is being used as a cover to fund liberal progressive programs. Okay, you know what, Anthony? can we just please not get into all the conspiracy stuff right now? Just talk about anything else. How about destroying Supreme Court justice nominee with rules that wouldn't get past a fifth grade government class? I'd rather not. Just no politics The left is just all. not in tune with America. Hey, come on, I mean it. It's a pretty dress. Is it, it looks it's like your shoulders are gift wrapped. Like, I don't know, what shows are you watching? We've been catching up on Jersey Shore. Have you seen it? Gyms, hair salons, and tattoo parlors. Yeah, close, Jim Tan Laundry, GTL. Yeah, we've been binging it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's actually kind of hard to stop watching. Why let them have that power over us? I don't know fun escapism? That is absolutely stunning. It it is just stunning to me. Okay, well, just wanted to make sure everyone was safe and healthy. The rumors are that uh, Kim Jong-un of uh, of North Korea is gravely ill. Uh, Have you heard anything? No, I don't have any intel in the North Korean government. You you have groceries and everything you need? We're, We're mostly just doing delivery, like dim sum, that kind of thing. The Chinese Communist government brought okay, us to our I, knees I just, I, I can't, with I can't, this virus I, 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 allegedly let out of their lab. Okay, okay. That's, look you know what, what I can't. they have done to okay, us. Okay, look, Antonine, if you can't just have a normal conversation, I, I, I'm just going to have to go. Impeachment. Nope. Bye. <laughs> Obamagate. It's the big new scandal on the right. But what actually is the scandal? Well, I've been binge watching Fox News for 48 hours straight, and I'm ready to fox explain Obamagate. Okay, it starts with President Barack Hussein Baskin Robbins Obama. He assembles the ultra liberal vegan deep state Comey, Clapper, AOC, Rodman, Pippin. You better believe the Geek Squad is involved. Anyway, they all start spying on Donald Trump's cell phone. Who's the cell phone carrier? T Mobile. What does the T stand for? Thunberg. That's in Greta. Take your little sailboat back to Greenland, Greta. You're not doing voter fraud in this country ever again. Here's a question. Why are we even targeting Flynn? Because he did a little work in Turkey? Guess what? Millions of Americans every year do a little work in Turkey. It's called Thanksgiving. But there are still some mysteries that we deserve answers to. This was Barack Obama's White House. What was Joe Biden doing there? How is it possible that the former president and the former vice president were working together? That's illegal. Wiretaps. FISA court. MLB home run derby. You want a real quid pro quo? Check out Obama's 2014 Christmas card. Art Basel. It's past time for Donald Trump to drain the swamp, folks, and everyone is in on it. The FBI, the CIA, the XFL, the PT Cruiser, the Will I Am. Put it all together and what do you get? I'd spell it out for you, but Fauci's probably 
listening. Free range birth control. Spooky vampire masks. That's not suspicious to you? Who is Flo from Progressive? Mega Man X. What about Mega Man Q? The storm is coming. I am the storm. Why is it called Earth if it's mostly water? Hope you can read Arabic, pal. If you still don't get it, listen to the president himself. What crime exactly are you accusing President Obama of committing? And do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Uh, Obamagate. Busted! It's obvious. You already know. Obamagate is Obamagate. So there you have it. That's Obamagate Explained. Bye. Air Force One is a hologram. We all know that the healthcare system is under an immense amount of pressure right now. So I'm about to talk to one of the many New York City doctors who's fighting this crisis to find out what we at home can do to help. Oh, hey, Dr. Mike. <laughs> How goes it? Dr. Hey. Mike here, ready to answer some questions. <laughs> wow. You look like a TV doctor or something, but you're, but you're a real doctor. Legitimate board certified family medicine physician. Wow. Wow. Okay, he's not just an everyday doctor. Dr. Mike was also the sexiest doctor alive, according to People Magazine. But I'm a professional, so that won't be an issue. Hmm. Sorry, I, um, I just, I've, I've been quarantined for many, many days. <laughs> How does it feel to be a doctor right now? Well, it's scary times because we're facing equipment shortages and we want to take care of ourselves and our patients, but we also need to understand that we're taking a huge risk being on the front lines. So just to be clear, we need to adhere to social distancing, even if, if we are young and uh, attractive. Is that right? Yes, that's really how it should stay because you want to be socially distancing yourself from others in order to flatten the curve to decrease the demand that's being put on hospitals nowadays. If you have to leave your house and you have to go on some sort of run for food or, or medicine, how close is too close? Ideally, you'd want to keep six feet away from anyone uh, that you're not familiar with. Would this be too close? In my medical, professional medical opinion, I would say that's too close. So six feet and the washing your hands. Is this too close? That would be too close. Too close. I mean, someone that you live at home with, totally different story. I'm not quarantined with anybody at home. It's, it's really just me. Nice. No, I'm like, what would you want to There's a child. Sorry, it's my super. Doing a quick repair on the um, on the refrigerator. Sounds young for a super. He's uh, he's a grown man, but he's very small, very small because we have a mini fridge. That's not an adult. Yeah, you know, uh, Doctor Mike, we're all pretty freaked out about this. How bad do you think it's going to get? Well, my slogan here is alert, not anxious. Without getting emotional about it, you're able to make better decisions. I'm glad you brought that up. I would love to talk about my feelings for a little bit with you. And I'd love to hear about your feelings. Right now, I'm feeling alone. I'd love to have someone to sit next to and crack open a bottle of wine. What are you feeling, Doc? I do want to warn you that drinking too much alcohol actually impairs certain cells of your immune system from fighting off viruses and bacteria. So if you're going to be having a glass of wine, make sure it's just that, a glass of wine a night. What about one glass of each type of wine? Like you could do one red, one white, one rosé, little champagne. I think you're just adding more alcohol, and that could be even uh, described as binge drinking. No. Agree to disagree. But either way, thank you, Dr. Mike, for taking the time to speak with us. And, and thank you to all the healthcare workers out there putting yourselves on the front lines. Of course, it's my job. You have to go poo. You have to go poo? Okay, I got it. Sorry, my super has to go poo. So I got to go. I got to go. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I love you.